What is going on, everybody? It is Krieg, and here I am, promised I would be, with an unboxing that I'm sure you've seen several times already, but for me, since it is one of top five favorite horror movies, I still gotta do it, damn it. I wanna check it out, make sure everything's copacetic. We have, from, so, Shout Factory, i.e. Scream Factory, horror, we have the Night of the Creeps package, which, if this was just a cool poster, in addition to an upgraded DVD, that would be nice. If this was just a cool poster in addition to an upgraded DVD and a shranky strip cover, cool too. However, this is the fourth, fifth, fifth of the Scream Factory uh, action figures um, deals that they've done. I'm trying to be careful opening this as you see. Um, they did one of Chucky, which, unfortunately, I didn't even know about, so I didn't get it. They did one of Billy from Siren Night, Deadly Night, which I did get, and you probably saw opened on this channel. Um, Ricky, also from Siren Night, Deadly Night, but that one was number two. I got that as well, and if you're interested in that one, um, it's actually still available, um, on their site, but... Shadry, not that many people were interested in it. Uh, and here we go. And then obviously Andra from Night of the Demons, which another another favorite. I'd have to think long and hard before I said where it is. It's definitely one of my top favorite 80s films, but it's in the top 10 there. I don't know where it is overall, though. But we remove the paper and we put it there for later use. We have the poster, which I like the tube they used this time. In the past, they did this thing where they pinched the ends, which could have caused some issues. And you have a picture of what the poster looks like on here. i got to find out what the dimensions are and get myself a nice little cheap frame for it, because I will be hanging it up. Um, we have the Collector's Edition DVD with the infamous... The good news is your date is here. The bad news is he's dead. I like that. I like that a lot. What are the special features? New interviews with actors, uh, Alan Kaiser, Ken Heron, Susan Snyder, and more. Sad Ray Dowd Atkins is one of them. New episode of Harvest Howl Grounds, auto commentary with director Fred Decker. Uh, deleted scenes feature at both the cast of Creeps, casting, and Tom Atkins' man of, man of action. I am going to put this in and watch the heart of it eventually. Um... Definitely looking forward to that. Put that to the side. And they also gave um, a slipcover that matches the the poster. And I think that's neat. So you have the original and you have this. I'm going to probably put this. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm, I, I have, obviously, I already have Night of Creeps on Blu-ray. But I like both these covers, so who knows. But here we go. We have here. And one of the reasons I enjoy this movie so much... The beginning, the nostalgia, oh, the very beginning is like on the alien ship, but you know, the black and white with the thrasher, and then you find out what happened to the guy, you know, Tom Atkins, and he knew he came back. So that is phenomenal. And then we have what some would say the reason for ordering it. I, I, honestly, I like everything in here. Um, some of you may know uh, I've been getting, I've been selling off some of my collection. Um, I have, you know, pays and bills, shit like that. Yeah, but that's you know why we why you have stuff right. But I am definitely staying with a lot of my neckers and probably most of my necker retros. Uh, I'm still debating the ultimates. You see that big box over my shoulder? There, yeah, there you go. That's filled with all my ultimates other than Friday the Thirteenth. Those I'm definitely keeping. Then I gotta decide what I do with the rest. But this is a necker ultimate. This is a necker retro that 110% will stay. I may even take this bad boy out of the box and set him up. I have not decided that just yet, but this is Tom Atkins. Now, the only other Tom Atkins figure that was made was made by Distinctive Dummies, and it wasn't of his neither Ray Cameron. Uh, it was of um, his Halloween 3 his 
Persona. And I did have that one. That one I did recently. Unfortunately, I did have some. I did sell, but... Distinctive Zombies is amazing look. But to get Night of the Creeps, this looks phenomenal. The shotgun, the booze. You know, I could practically hear him saying, Thrill me. Thrill me. Thrill me. I could hear it. I can hear it. But then again, I hear voices, so it's a thing. But check him out. Again, I might take him out of the box. Just now isn't that time. You know, I know it's annoying when you hear people say that. Um, I think it's great. I think it's my favorite freaking thing. And my boys busted my chops to like, Oh, wait till you see what neck, what, uh, what Scout Factory has, Screen Factory has. And they're like, I loved it. Um, hey, thanks for checking out my video. Told you I was going to put up. I give that a 10 out of 10. There's nothing not to like there. I will check out the DVD with more in depth. That would be something I do sort of a review of. Not of the movie, because for me the movie is, you know, obviously no movie is perfect. But if you look at it through the lens of a nice 80s film, it's got a little bit of everything. As I was thinking, I was talking with Dan Mitchell of Hall and me. What he didn't like about it was what I love about it. He's like, well, is it Thrasher? Is it Alien? Is it Creatures? Like, what's going on? I'm like, yes, that's the beauty of it. Yes, how do you not see that? But I will catch you next time, and have a good one. And uh, comment down below, and throw me.